Where were you born then? Born at uh, Brewery. And what year were you born in? In 22. You had uh, brothers and sisters, I think? Yeah, four. Two sisters and two brothers. Yeah, yeah. And are they all still alive? Uh, one's dead. Yeah, yeah. Where did you go to school then? Uh, Milton and the Witchwood. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Milton, yeah. Did, um, uh, and, and did you go on to Burford School after that? Yes, or, I went uh, to Burford when I was in. What, that, the grammar no. school? No, the, the ordinary. I know, yeah. Secondary yeah. school. Yeah, you went there when you were 11. You I went by bus every day. You left school at 15, did you? 14. 14, did you? And what did you do, what did you do then? I <coughs> started work at Groves at Melbourne and Witchwood. Where? Groves? Groves. That's the wood wood people, isn't it? Yeah. The, um, what were you doing there then? In the, in the sawmill, the job I had was box making with a chap named Baldwin. Oh yeah. And uh, he was a bit of a nigger driver. I used to do after work and get less money than anybody else. Oh yeah. And uh, people said to me, you don't want to stop with him very long. You want to get... Yeah. And I went back in the sawmill. Oh yeah. And then I got... Uh, when I was about 21 or 22, I got called up for the army. Oh, when you were 21, and you were as old as that, were you, when yeah, you were in the army? Yeah. Uh, see, I was in a repaired occupation. Right? Yeah, well, what did you go, what, did, what, what regiment did you join in the army then? The lifeguards. Lifeguards, yeah, yeah. And uh, where did you, where were you stationed in the UK? Did, did you uh, train? At Windsor. You do your training there, did you? Yeah, did the training at Windsor. Yeah. And then, uh, what, what year was that? You'd, that would have been uh, 20... Was that at the beginning? Two or four. Uh, so halfway through the war, then, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, when did you when did you actually go abroad and get into the fighting? Um, well, we went abroad as the war ended. Oh right, you were actually getting yeah, the war. Yeah, uh, went. Yes, we went over and um, we um, went through from uh, the French coast or the Belgian coast. I don't know which it was. Right through to Berlin. How did you do that? Um, in Land Rovers? In lorries. Lorries, yeah. 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 I was a driver. Oh, were you? Oh, right. Yeah, you drove to Berlin, did you? Yeah, yeah I did it. And then uh, we were stationed in Berlin for 10 months. Well, I was, I was seeing a thing on the, uh, on the telly just now, and they said there was about seven women to every man in, in Berlin at that in time. In Germany, yeah. 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 So you behaved, you, you behave yourself then? Yeah. You did. Pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. Yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, what happened, uh, her father was blind and I used to take a chap around named Leach and uh, from Lynham and uh, I, I did take him, he went on the back of a tandem and we went all over the place on this tandem. Did you? I volunteered. And uh, I went to Reading, and uh, they decided I'd be better suited uh, the, in the Navy, oh, no. they said. So uh, I passed the test as a submarine artificer. The next thing I knew, about six weeks later, I had a call up for the Army. I didn't go in the Navy at all. <laughs> And they called me up and I went, uh, as I say, I joined the lifeguard. How long were you in the, in the army then? About two years. Only two years, yeah, yeah. And then you came back and married? I came back. I was in a reserve occupation before the war. And one morning, an officer sent for me. He said, do you want to go home? And I said, why? He said, well, your firm has applied for you, that was Groves. He's applied for you to go back to work for them. Oh, yeah. He said, make your mind up by tomorrow. So I made my mind up and I decided to come home. And I was on my way, and that was it. And uh, when I got back home, I, I wished I hadn't have done it. Oh, did you? Because. Life in the army was just getting better for mm. us, you see, a lot better. Yeah, yeah. They were out in the cinemas and 
different things in Berlin. And we used to go down in, into the town at night. It was very bomb though. Yeah, all, um, there was hardly anything standing, it was all flattened. But we still found beer cellars in different places. How did the go. Germans treat you? Did you get on with them? I yes, mean? got on all right. Mm. Found the Germans better than any nation. Yeah. Mm. They were more friendly, they didn't expect anything from you. We didn't used to draw any money. We lived off of the black market. <laughs> what, cigarettes and...? Yeah, I, I didn't smoke and I used to get to 50 cigarettes a week, I think it was, in a tin. And uh, I used to flog them for about £10 and I, I lived off. When I came home, uh, I had all the money as I, I was owed for three or four months. And then did you go back to Groves's? Yeah, I went back to Groves's after, uh, after the war. And that was different altogether to the army. I got married in 47. 47, that was just uh, after you were demobbed then, when you came yeah, back? Yeah, well, I came back in 46. Oh, yeah, yeah. Came back about um, April and May, 46. You get married at Clanfield? Yes. Dawn, what was her surname? Parrot. Dawn Parrot, yeah. Her father was blind. That's how I came. Oh, he's, he wasn't the one you took on this bicycle? No. No. I, um, I took, her father was blind and so was Harold Leach. The oh. chap I had, I used to go tandem riding with. Yeah. And I came over to see his father and met Dawn again, because I knew her before the war, because I came over before that, or during the war. What children did you have then? We had two children, um, a boy and a girl. Roger and? Roger and Jill. Jill. Yeah. I went to Morris's after I left Groves's. Why did you leave Groves's then? Oh, I left Groves's because there was more money at Morris's. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Oxford. And in 1949, I left Groves. That was after about two or three years. And uh, got a job as a wood machinist up there. And I stopped there from 49 to 61. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, crowd yeah. Mm. And earned some money. Mm. And money was good. Mm. We were getting two or three times as much as anybody else. <laughs> My first wife died in uh, 81. I went out, we had the paper business then, and I got up and she hadn't done the papers. And uh, I went over and looked at her in the bed, and she was dead. Okay. She had a brain hemorrhage oh and I, uh, I was on my own for five over five years never thought I'd ever get married again then I met Margaret went to a dance at Whitney and then she went didn't she mm. and then we uh, she phoned me up and because uh, I asked her to, she wanted to go out again and she said she'd see and then she phoned me up one night and after that we, we got on, on like a house on fire. <laughs>